Good day Grade 12. Welcome to this next lesson on probability in week 26. In this lesson we're going to learn how to use contingency tables. So a contingency table is another tool used to solve probability problems. We've used Venn diagrams and we've used tree diagrams. Now we're going to look at a contingency table. So let's look at an example. It's probably the best way. So we've got this little table here. We've got grade 11s, grade and 12s, and then we've got some grade 11s have a cell phone and some don't. So the total number of grade 11s is 65, the total number of grade 12s is 53, the total number of kids is therefore 118. The cell phones, you can see that 59 of the grade 11s have a cell phone and 50 of the grade 12s have cell phones, therefore we've got a total of 109 cell phones and then only put 6 people and 3 people and 9. Okay, so let's look at the questions that they could ask us. It says, what is the probability that a learner from grade 11 has a cell phone? What is the probability that the learner who does not have a cell phone is from grade 11 and then finally are the grade of the learner and whether he has a cell phone or not independent events and it says explain your answer in other words they don't just want yes or no you need to actually do the calculation so let's go through this it first says what is the probability that a learner from grade 11 has a cell phone okay so let's first see how many grade 11s we have we have got 65 grade 11s and of those, and we also have how many people having cell phones, we have got 59 of the grade 11s having a cell phone. Therefore, the probability that a grade 11 will have a cell phone is obviously going to be 59 over 65. So out of the 65, 59 of the grade 11s had cell phones. Therefore, the probability that a grade 11 learner will have a cell phone is 59 over 65. Right, let's look at the next example. Now it says, what is the probability that a learner who does not have a cell phone is from grade 11? Okay, so now let's look at this again. The number of learners without a cell phone okay the total number of learners without a cell phone is nine so there's where we get that nine the total number the number of learners without a cell phone from grade 11 is six therefore the probability is six over nine let's go through that question again it says what is the probability that a learner who does not have a cell phone is from grade 11 so the number of kids that don't have a cell phone in total the number of students is nine of that nine six are from grade 11 therefore the probability that a learner that doesn't have a cell phone is from grade 11 is going to be 6 over 9 which obviously is also equal to 2 over 3. Right, let's look at our final example. It says are the grade of a learner, the grade of a learner and whether he has a cell phone or not independent events. Okay, so let's go see how we can work this out. First, to test for dependence and independence we need to consider whether a learner is in grade 11 and whether the learner has a cell phone. Okay, so first we need to look at the probability of a learner being in grade 11. So there are 65 students that are in grade 11 and there are 118 grade students altogether. So therefore the probability that the learner is in grade 11 is 65 over 118. Okay, then the probability that you have a cell phone the total number of people with cell phones is 109 and the total number of students altogether is 118. So the probability that a learner has a cell phone is 109 over 118. But now let's look at the probability that the learner is in grade 11 and has a cell phone. So the probability that a learner is in grade 11 as had a cell phone is 59 out of your 118 which equals a half. Now remember that the rule for your dependence or independence is probability of A and B if it equals the probability of A 
times the probability of B, then we say that they are independent. So now we've got to look at this. We've got the probability of A and B, it's a half. The probability of A is 65 over 118. The probability of B is 109 over 18, 118. So obviously 65 times 65 over 118 times by 109 over 118 is not going to equal a half. Therefore, the grade of the learner and whether or not he has a cell phone are said to be dependent. They're said to be dependent. So now you've seen how you can very effectively use contingency tables to work out your probabilities. So please go practice examples with contingency tables and then do the assessment at the end of the week. Have a great day, grade 12s.